people whose job requires them to go into houses, what's the most bizarre thing you've seen? I'm a plumber, went down to service the boiler in the basement and the homeowner walked me through their red room. One wall had all the whips and spanking utensils, another had all the chains, cuffs, ball gags, there was a glass cabinet that one would expect to find fine china or expensive trinkets, nope, toys and vibrators, all shapes, sizes and colors. Not one but two sex swings hanging from the ceiling, a giant sawhorse with rings mounted to it, a medieval looking rack and a small cage. I mean, to each their own and all, but at least give a fella a heads up before you walk him through the set of fifty shades of grey. Installed sod at this lady's newly built home. She was in her mid-sixties maybe. Anyway, she didn't know where the valve to the exterior tap was in the basement and asked if I could go down and turn it on for her. No problem. I go down the stairs to the unfinished basement and it's pitch dark. I find a light switch and then suddenly there is a 400 pound man naked and asleep on a mattress three feet away from me. She never mentioned this before I went downstairs. Realtor here. I was showing a house that was supposed to be empty. I knocked and rang the bell to make sure. Once inside I walked into a bedroom and found the current tenant butt ass naked absolutely slamming on an electronic drum kit in what was a mostly soundproof room. He never noticed I was there, but he'll never forget him. Former babysitter, one house a toilet in the hallway. Not a bathroom just a toilet literally in the middle of a carpeted hallway, middle of the hallway but against a wall, that totally worked. It was parallel to the wall not perpendicular there was zero cover around it and it faced the stairway. So if you used it, and somebody came up the stairs, you were going to be making eye contact. I never understood it. It looked like someone just set a toilet down for a minute. There was a full bathroom six away connected to the hallway. I used to do home health and just go in and help people with everyday things they couldn't do because of their condition. Had this really sweet older lady with a bad case of psoriasis. Her floors had a layer of dead skin covering nearly every inch two of the apartment. It was even in her dog's water bowl. Did my best to keep it clean, and visited twice a week. Each time it was just as bad. I can still smell it if I think about it. I used to be pool guy, I used to go into people's backyards to clean their pools. One week, it was a four day week due to a holiday, so I'm not going on the scheduled days, I'm cramming five days of work into a four day week. It's a hot summer day, and I walk into the backyard of this house, get through both gates, and I'm met with an odd sight. These two kids, maybe 14 or 15, are absolutely butt ass naked cuddled on a poolside recliner. I look at them, they look at me. I immediately turn around and they run inside. I see the owners all the time, but I've never seen these kids before. Next week I go, the wife was outside, and we started chit-chatting. I ask her if she's had any visitors recently, she says no. I let her know that I saw some kids in her backyard, and she cut me off. She says, yeah, surprised you haven't met them, let me introduce you. They were brother and sister. They cancelled service within two months. Not really bizarre but was tasked with removing a rattlesnake from an elderly lady's home. What was found was her sex toy lodged between furniture and the wall while on slash vibrating. Poor thing thought it was a snake's rattle. Turned it off, with gloves, and told her the snake had been removed. Makes me laugh, she was a sweet lady. In the 90s, I had a summer job at a small electronic repair shop. I had to deliver and reconnect an elderly woman's 32 inches television, this was the tube kind, it was huge and heavy. Get to her trailer and she answers the door, woman in her 70s wearing a thin cotton shirt as a dress that barely reached her mid-thigh, was essentially transparent, no underwear, everything on full display. Kept my eyes averted as I hauled the TV in and reconnected it to the cable box and VCR. When I was done, she took me to her bedroom all four walls were covered in crosses and crucifixes of all shapes and sizes. She pointed out gold-plated ones, a crucifix made from olive wood from Israel, another of lapis lazuli, etc. She spent a good half hour telling me the story of each one. I'm a painter, and in the process of covering the clothes in a wardrobe with plastic and masking up, I uncovered a box, that was only covered by the clothes hanging over it, that had possibly the biggest strap-on kit I've ever seen easily a 10 plus inch strap on. I should mention I mainly do repaints of retirement homes. Them old folks wild. 
used to live in South Florida and worked an apartment complex. One day we cleaned out this apartment after tenants moved out, wasn't too bad as it was mostly clean. But the shocking part was finding a severed goat's head in the fridge, on a platter not just stuffed in there, it was skinned and everything. Startled the duck out of me and wasn't sure what to do. Supervisor said it was no big deal and was common among the Haitian population where they use the whole head for a stew. I saw a woman with a jacuzzi in the center of her carpeted bedroom that she and her four, foster, children bathed in. They also all shared a toilet in her bedroom that had no walls slash door around it. Absolutely no privacy. All of the kids slept in the living room while she slept in the master bedroom. During my home inspection I found three doors that had been completely plastered over and couldn't be accessed she informed me that one was a full bathroom and the other two were bedrooms. None were accessible but she insisted that she use them to store her tools. I was so creeped tf out. There was no possible way for her to get to her tools from those rooms. The kids could have had bedrooms and there was no need for anyone to be bathing or using the toilet in front of anyone else. One of them was a 12 year old girl. Imagine getting your first period in that home. I did everything I could to help the kids move. There is this one house I will never forget. It was filled with dongs. There were pictures on the wall of dongs. Dong statues, carvings, paintings, flags, tapestries, lamps, table legs, drawings, etc. were all of dongs. The armrests on the chairs and couches were shaped like dongs. So if you put your arm on them, you would be grabbing the head. Even the couches and chairs were upholstered in dong fabrics. The two dudes that lived there were both artists and they made all of it. It was the weirdest ducking thing I think I have ever seen. Medical worker here. We visited a very large lady who, after the call was well underway, was telling her husband to gather her things to take to the hospital and mentioned something like it's by the duck stick. When we looked confused she indicated a large stick sort of like a broom handle that was leaning against a nearby wall. She then proceeded to tell us that it's the stick she uses to lift up and hold back her fat rolls so her husband can get at her vod AJ when they have sex. Was covering another department by doing a home care call. It wasn't the sketch neighborhood that bugged me too much. It wasn't the rundown house exterior that made me judgy. The fact that the stairwell was almost separated from the wall was a nope for me. So was the shirtless husband who tried to corner me as I beat or retreat a cigarette dangling from his lip. The final straw that had me call for a welfare check on the wife was the fact that on the way out I tripped over a mostly mummified dog. I used to work as a delivery driver in northern Illinois and although I didn't always enter homes there were many times during the winter when I was asked to step in real quick while they looked for the coupon they used or something. I remember one time I came into this guy's home and the whole place reeked of weed. He's wearing a robe and has an unlit cigarette hanging from his mouth as he's looking through drawers trying to find the coupon. I take a quick look around and I see the source of the smell, a giant sack of weed on the counter and a digital scale next to it. Dude was clearly a dealer, but that wasn't what was weird. What was weird was that there was a used condom on the scale. I didn't see anyone else around, and the order didn't seem like for more than one person, so it basically looked like this guy was trying to weigh how much it was. I've done some pretty weird stuff when stoned as well, so I chalked it up to that. I did kinda wish he tipped me in weed instead of cash. But then again maybe I didn't want anything that possibly was on that scale at some point. Not inside a house, but it was their yard. I work for a family owned construction company. We were having to remove a dirt hill and haul off the dirt. The neighbor asked what we were doing with it and, upon finding out that we were having to pay to dump it somewhere, he joyfully told us that we could dump it in his backyard in a low place. It was a win slash win situation, it saved us a, a few hundred dollars in several hours. A few weeks later, my dad called scream for me to come see something on TV. The guy was on the news, arrested for the murder of his brother-in-law. The low place in his yard? That was a shallow grave. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.